welcome back to my channel. Today I'm in a new background. I have access to my studio lights now. I had them stored in my garage and they were just collecting dust and I couldn't really get to them because there's just so much stuff piled into the garage. But now I can, I've sort of reorganized the garage so I've got access to them. So um, here they are, that's why my face might look a little bit brighter. But basically today I am filming a feelings, favorites and fails for June. Yeah, June. And I do one of these every single month where I kind of just talk about the feelings of the general month, the feelings, my feelings of the general month. So, you know, have I been feeling happy? Have I been feeling sad? That kind of thing. Any favorite products, I will just talk through them and then any kind of fail products or anything at the end. If you can hear a slight like whirring noise, it is my laptop. It's currently saving a video. It's actually saving my house tour of, well, the house tour of my parents' house. If you haven't seen that vlog slash video, that was my previous video on my channel that I posted on Monday. So go and check it out if you haven't watched that, but that's currently saving on my laptop. So I'm sorry if you can hear that noise, but let's crack on. So first of all, we have my feelings of the month. Now there's not really too much for me to say. It's been a pretty good month. Done lots of like nice social activities. I went to Mablethorpe for the week and that was a really fun week. We did a lot of stuff that week and yeah it's nice to do things in the summer because the weather is so much nicer which means that when you go out and about and do things you know you don't have to wear like 5,000 coats or anything so it is nice to just do more social things in summer so that's nice and yeah it's been generally a pretty good month the only thing that I could say was negative is that I haven't managed to um, do a few like houseworky tasks that I wanted to do for example shampoo in the carpet like I literally get my bucket and scrub and scrub the whole carpet upstairs the stairs and in the kitchen wherever I have carpet basically and I haven't had a chance to do that so that's annoying but not a problem do that next month and um, there's a few kind of tasks and things that I want to do outside in the little kind of outside area that I have outside my kitchen and it's just a small area I want to have some barbecues there so I just want to make the outside area look a little bit nicer so I've got to kind of do a bit of scrubbing and washing of a few you know things and just things that need doing but I'm tackling that now so um, yeah, overall a very good month. Now on to um, some favorite products. By the way, do I look really low down? I feel like I'm like this, like really low down. Like if I'm slouched over, this is what I'm like. So I'm kind of having to sit up like this. And um, by the way, I haven't got my hair. This is just the front bits of my hair. My actual hair length is here. Um, yes, I'll try and figure out something else to balance the camera on next time that's not quite so high up, but we're, we're dealing with it for today. So first of all, I'm gonna start off with a couple of makeup products. I don't really have any skincare favorites to show in this video because I did an entire video about my favorite skincare. I will link it in the description if you wanna go and check that out. It's my current favorite skincare product. So just go and watch that if you are interested. But we're gonna show some makeup. First of all, I have this. This is the Technique Get Gorgeous Highlighting Powder and it's in the shade I think I've had this problem before. It doesn't say a shade name, but then again, I might not be reading it correctly. But basically, it's like a kind of pinky, kind of um, silvery toned highlighter. I've got it on my face today. So if you can see like where the shimmer hits like here, that's this highlighter. So it is quite like powerful considering the price. It's only like two pounds something. I actually picked it up from Amazon you actually get a lot of like pigmentation and you don't have to keep like scrubbing your brush into the product to get that pigmentation. And I just really like this product because it's a lot of product that you get. Like you can see how much product you get. Why is there a hair on it? And it's a pet hair and I don't have any pets apart from my hamster and that is not a hamster hair concerned um but yeah I really love this and like I said it is like a pinky kind of shimmery shade if you can kind of see that a little bit maybe um but yeah i just thought i'd mention this in the video in this video because it's like um a bargain product i would say if you like cheap makeup like me that is cheap but works really really well then i would recommend this so yeah technique um highlighter no idea what the shade name is um but it's suitable for kind of like my my type of skin tone if you've got a skin tone like mine and finally for makeup, we really don't have that much. Um, this is from e.l.f. This is the e.l.f. 16 hour camo concealer. It says it has a matte finish, 
which is good for me because I've got oily skin. So I kind of want to have makeup products that will keep my skin semi-mattified, which means that I've got a little bit of glow where I want it. For example, where my highlighter is, I want that glow, but everywhere else I don't want it to be glowy. So this is a great product for me. Often I find with matte concealers is the coverage is a lot higher than with a dewy concealer, which is definitely 100% the case with this product. It is very full coverage. It literally, anywhere you put it, it will cover straight away. I always use highlight, uh, highlighters. I always use concealers for highlighting my face. So under my eyes, down my nose, on my chin, and a little bit on the forehead rather than spot concealing. So for me, I have a super light shade because of that reason, because I want to highlight. So mine is actually in the shade Fair Warm, which is very, very pale. You can see how pale it is when you compare it to the color of my wall, which is white. So just bear that in mind. Um, but if you're looking for something to conceal spots, this will be great as well, but just in like a shade that matches your skin tone, whereas this wouldn't match my skin tone. Like, can you see how that's super pale for my skin? Um, but because I've used it to highlight, it's absolutely fine. And also my foundation is too dark for my skin. So it kind of blends nicely together. We now have a couple of homeware housey bits. This candle, first of all, this is from Wilco's or Wilkinson's. Oh, have they changed their name to Wilco? Oh, they have changed it officially to Wilco. When did they do that? I don't know. I swear it was Wilkinson's. Anyway, Wilco's. I got this from Wilco's and it's just a basic candle. I swear it was just a pound. I was umming and ahhing whether to include it in this video because I thought that's just a bit of a boring thing to put into a video. But A, I love candles. They just make the room so much more cosier. And also the smell of this stands out from literally any other candle I've tried. Something about the scent of this one. I, oh, it's the scent Rose Blossom, by the way. But there's just something about this that I really like. And when I burn it, it just scents the whole room. And I think for a pound, like, that is great. Like, you literally, and it burns evenly as well. Like, it burns around the edges. And some candles don't do that, which really annoys me. That is a pet peeve with candles, is when they don't burn to the edges. And you just have, like, a hole in the middle and loads of candle on the outside. Do not like that. Um, but I wanted to include it because it is only a pound. It's from a place where you can easily go and buy it from Wilco's and it's a great candle so yeah there you go and then the star of the show this is my favorite thing in this video look at this little guy me and my mum went to like a craft kind of fair thing well not a craft fair I don't know they just had loads of bits and bobs there was you know someone selling cakes there was someone selling stuff like this and pictures and paintings and stuff but yeah i picked up this little guy he was so cute i saw him on the first store we went to and i knew that i was gonna buy it he was 10 pounds so he wasn't too bad but then again he wasn't exactly cheap but for me my opinion of cheap will be different to someone else's opinions are cheap and i think that's something you have to remember when watching videos or when just speaking to people in general you know i don't have hardly any money like really if i'm honest so for me this was expensive for me to spend 10 pounds on this like i would think to myself 10 pounds is 10 loaves of bread oh i won't buy it but i thought you know what this is gonna last you a long time georgie treat yourself you really like it get it so i got this he looks so cute it's a Damn it, what plant is this? I've forgotten the name of the plant, but mum, if you're watching this video, please let us know in the comments. Um, yeah, my mum knows. Um, you don't have to water it too, too often. It's just an easy plant to look after, which I kind of like. And I've been really enjoying looking after plants recently and just watering them daily. And this is just a new addition to my collection. So yeah, isn't he cute? What was his name? Oh, me and my mum decided to call him Cac, which sounds kind of funny, like, why would you do that? But, um, actually, why would I do that? Cac after cactus, but then it sounds like poo, and it's kind of funny, but he's not a cactus, so maybe I need to rename him. If you've got any name suggestions, please let me know. Um, oh, my laptop stopped buzzing. Does that mean it's died? Hopefully not. Um, but yeah, there he is, little guy. Maybe I'll just call him little guy. Now, we have some food favourites. Right, we've got a lot of snacks here, guys. If you like little sweet treats, but you don't want to, you know, eat loads and loads of calories like I do, I want to have a little sweet treat here or there, but I don't want to, you know, have loads of loads of calories on sugar. I'd rather have that in my, like, my meals instead. Then these are perfect for you. So first of all, 
we have these little kinder bars from Lidl. Yeah, I know they're nothing special, they're nothing new, but they're perfect for like after a lunchtime, I will have one of these. And I think they're about 70 calories and it's just a nice little sweet treat that you can have afterwards. I, I just find that with these, um, you get a lot in a packet, you get like literally 20 in a packet and it's just a nice little thing to have after my lunch. So I like those. Then in Lidl, I was absolutely ecstatic when I saw these. They have these, what they call Fibre Yum, which is 100% a copy, or well, not a copy, but they've been inspired 100% by Fibre One brownies and Fibre One products because this is a Fibre One, an actual Fibre One bar, and this is the ones from Lidl, which are basically a copy. Fibre One, Fibre Yum. This is chocolate fudge brownie. This is chocolate fudge brownie. And the calories are around the same. Do you get the same weight? Don't know how many grams are in this, but there's 24 grams in one of these. The little ones are actually a lot cheaper than the Fibre One brownie. So I was like, hell yeah, I'm picking them up. They're literally just over a pound for the, for the box. So this is the little box and these are what they are. So I picked up fudge brownie. They also have salted caramel squares, which are here. These are really nice, I really like those. You can heat them up as well, put them in the microwave for about 10, 15 seconds, not too long, because I shriveled one up once, so don't put it in too long, but put it in for a little bit of time and it will be nice and warm. And then, lemon, which I don't know if this is my favorite one. I do really like this, but yeah, they had the Fiber Yum Lemon Drizzle Squares, which are really, really nice, I do have to say. So we've got those. So yeah, um, I'm super happy about that because it means that I don't have to wait for five or one brownies to go on discount. I can just get these from Lidl. They taste pretty much the same. There was a little bit of a difference, but not really, you know, it's a neglig negligible amount. So yeah, love those. And um, that's it for kind of like snappy bits and bobs. I like to have a little kind of snack here or there. Um, Final thing for food, I picked up this from Lidl. Lidl is really doing good right now. Um, this is the Complete Protein Three Stage System Muscle and Growth and Maintenance Protein Powder. I don't know why I just read the whole label. Um, but this is basically chocolate flavored protein powder. And I don't know whether I need to use this or not because I don't exactly go to the gym and lift heavy weights, you know, 24 seven. I never go to the gym, I do at home workouts do about 30 minutes every single day. I do have weights at home and resistance bands and things like that, but I don't actually physically go to the gym and I don't think I will ever because I just don't think I need to. I've had like a weight loss journey where I've lost, you know, two stone and I've gone from, you know, one person to a lot more kind of toned up and I didn't hit the gym once and I don't, I personally, for my lifestyle, I don't need to do that and I would think it's a waste of money for me because I enjoy at home workouts so much and and I'm more motivated to do them because I'm just at home. So for me, I always question, do I need protein powder, you know, to repair your muscles and things after a workout? But what it does for me is it keeps me motivated. It makes me think that I'm doing a good job and it just makes me continue and carry on. And it just makes me feel like I'm, you know, being good. So I got this um, from Lidl. It wasn't actually that expensive for this like whole tub. I think it, I'm not sure exactly how much it was, but go and check it out. It was actually in the when it's gone, it's gone section of Lidl. So um, it's probably gone by the time this video goes up. But I was super excited when I saw this. Um, this is what it looks inside. And there's a little scoopy guy and yeah, it just like a standard protein powder. I've had a different protein powder before from one of the more expensive brands and um, it tastes exactly the same. There it is. So I like that. And also this is not necessarily a favorite, but I also did pick up this, which I am very sorry it is used. I haven't washed it up. I literally just made a little protein shake before this video after my workout. And they were selling these at Lidl, these um, protein shakers, and um, it was only $1.99, so I just picked that up as well. And it just makes me excited to just do my workout for some reason. I'm just a little bit weird like that. But yeah, got that. So um, yeah, that's everything for my favourites. I feel like I've actually rambled on quite a lot considering I didn't have that many things. I would say my overall, overall favourite is the little plant that I got here. And also the, um, like the, the fibre yum products from Lidl. I don't have any fails this month. Um, 
like to show you. I was literally wrecking my brain. I was thinking, I'm sure, like surely there is something I can think of. But the only thing I could think of was the fact that the little shop up the road from me, the milk keeps going off. Why? It's so annoying. Every time it'll go off the day I've got it. It's not my fridge, by the way. It really isn't because when I go to the co-op, it's fine. Um, and it goes off about four or five days before the best before date or the expiration date. And I, yeah, I'm just done with it now. This is the third time that's happened. And I'm just not going to get any from there anymore. I'm going to go to the co-op. So um, I'm sorry to that shop up the road, but I don't know what you're doing with your milk, but you're probably not storing it right. But yeah, this is the end of this video. I hope you enjoyed it. I have a video on Friday, which is a morning routine. So stay tuned for 9am on Friday for some videos. And um, thanks for watching. Give the video a thumbs up, subscribe, and I'll see you then. Goodbye.